to have some time with you today. We, um, as you know, have launched some uh, remote programming at uh, YWTV. Um, we are the YW at Home series, our, our version of our organization on the road um, and remote so that we're able to still support you during this time that we are all living together separately. Um, so with that, we know that um, there's still a lot of information out there and a lot happening. We do continue to encourage you to go to reliable sources for information, um, which are some of the ones that we have found, the um, New Jersey Department of Health, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the World Health Organization. But look, we know that this is a very um, different time and everyone's experiencing it differently well. Um, there is a lot of um, stress and anxiety just with the change of maybe working from home or homeschooling children or dealing with uh, you know being a caregiver for somebody. Um, there's definitely a lot to balance right now. Um, so it's really important to take care of yourself and to try to find um, a time for something healthy for you during your daily routine. And uh, it might not be at the time that we go live with our um, programming, but the beauty of this is you can watch it anytime. You can save it and you can watch it when the time is right for you. And today we have a real treat for you. We, a lot of you got to meet Lisa Jason last week when we did our brief exercise last Tuesday. Um, today she has joined us again to bring another one of her many talents to us and share with us. And I know you're really going to enjoy um, our time this morning doing laugh yoga. Um, Lisa Jason is a member of our Healing Space staff, which is our Sexual Violence Resource Center, which during this time that um, everyone is, as I said, living together apart, um, our, our Sexual Violence Resource Center is up and running 24-7. Um, uh, our uh, hotline is there for any survivors of sexual violence. Just call 201-487-2227. Um, if you are interested in getting counseling, um, if you're interested in participating in any of the other programming that we have, you just have to call the hotline and we will arrange that for you. And all of our therapists right now are working remotely um, using different modalities that are HIPAA compliant to be able to support you during this time. So with that, let me introduce today again, Miss Lisa Jason from our Healing Space team. Hello. Hi, Helen. Hi, everyone. Welcome, Lisa. So before we jump into it, tell us a little bit about Laugh Yoga, because people may think it's something that we just made up on our own, because it sounds <laughs> it sounds so like we like to laugh and we like yoga and, you know, it seemed good to do together. But I know there's more to it. Maybe others weren't aware. I wasn't aware until you taught it to me a few years ago. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, um, laughter yoga uh, was sort of uh, created by a doctor in India named Dr. Mandan Kataria. And you can look on uh, laughteryoga.org for more information. And he found that um, he felt like he wasn't doing enough for his patients. He was seeing so much illness and, and really felt like he wanted to do more. And he read in a Reader's Digest that laughter is the best medicine. So he started to do some research. So he took his wife and a couple of friends and he went into a park and they just started to laugh. And at first they tried to do humor and jokes and that just wasn't working when that all ran out. Um, he really started to find that there's research that indicates that not only is laughing fun and, and so forth, but it also brings oxygen into your brain and into the body and into the lungs. And it helps to really express feelings and, you know, that you might be holding on to and relieve stress and is really great for wellness. He also found out that your body can't tell the difference between a real and a fake laugh. So even if you're totally stressed and you just go, <laughs> you're already just releasing your stress, even if you're not feeling the laugh. And laughter yoga is not about jokes and humor or making fun of it all. It's really about the process of laughter. It's about trying to, you know, play a little bit and to connect with others. And I know we're on this virtual uh, platform, but I know that we're all together and, and we can all sort of 
have a sense of each other and see each other. So that's really what laughter yoga is. It's it's just really, you know, and there is scientific proof that it really does help um, many, many um, different folks. It helps with depression. It helps with, you know, all sorts of different uh, different things. That's wonderful. I, and I know about everyone else who's, we've got a crew watching us. Hi to our friends from Bergen Family Center and some of our YW team and some other folks from the community I see that have joined us. Um, I don't know about them. I don't know about those who will watch later, but I know I really need some laughing that, um, you know, this has been a stressful time um, and uh, it's not all been cleaning closets and making quarantinis and, you know, trying new cooking recipes. Um, it's, there's been a lot of, a lot to manage. So I appreciate the opportunity to laugh with you today. So Matt, take us through. And uh, for oh. Facebook land, we're going to zoom into Lisa right now so that you can get a better view of her. And I okay. am going to join her in the little box. <laughs> okay. And uh, so, as Helen said, just remember, everyone, I know that right now it is a, it's a stressful trying time. And you might be saying, well, what, you know, why, why do I want to laugh? Why should I laugh? Well, sometimes it is such a big stress reliever. It's a communicator and um, it's okay. It's okay. And again, this is also a workout. So make sure that, you know, you sort of take your time with this. And um, so basically the first thing we do in laughter yoga is there's a couple things. But the first thing we do is if we're just going to stand with our feet slightly apart and sort of press our hands together. There are pressure points in the hands that basically um, create relaxation in the body and um, connect with different parts of our body. And it's just sort of a chance to be still for a moment. And if we would all consider taking a deep breath in through the nose, and push it out through the mouth. And another breath in through the nose. And push out through the mouth. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel yourself in this moment. Notice your breath and your heart beating. Good. And we can stay in this pose while I also let you know that we're going to be doing a little bit of stretching and then we're going to do some um, laughter exercises. In between the exercises, there are two things that we do. One of them to indicate the exercises over, we will do, and you can do it with me, Helen, and everybody out there. We're going to do ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. And then the other thing we do is we celebrate ourselves. You know, I mean, it, it, we are we are doing a lot right now. We're handling a lot. We're caring a lot. If they're, you've got young children or, or you're homeschooling or anything that's happening, you're juggling work, you want to celebrate yourself once in a while. And so after the ho, ho, ha, 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 we will do very good, very good. Yay! So good, very good. Yay! There we go. Yeah. See, that feels good. All right. So before we get started, let's, if we, if we wish to, and you wish you can just take a, just sort of reach way up to the sky. Just have a nice stretch. Nothing, nothing strenuous. We're just going to reach up and we're going to just let our drop, our arms drop naturally. And then we're going to reach up again, just reaching way up and breathing. And we're going to let them drop again. And then maybe just slowly just bend over just slightly, bend your knees. It doesn't have to be, it's, this is not, you don't have to touch the ground. Just sort of arch your back, you know, take a stretch, feel your fingertips, feel your feet on the ground. Just breathe for a minute and slowly come back up to standing. And then maybe just shake your hands a little bit. Shake your feet a little bit. Just get all loosened up so we get the blood flowing here a little bit. Okay. Good. All right. So the first thing we do in laughter yoga is we do greeting laughter. So if we were in a room together, this will be our big virtual room 
uh, from all over. And I'm going to approach the screen and I'm going to greet Helen. So I'm going to laugh and Helen's going to laugh and I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're at home, that's it. If you're at home with family or, or other folks or even by yourself, just <laughs> so let's just take a few minutes. <laughs> and then ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Very good. Very good. Yay. All right. How are we doing there, Helen? Good. I actually, right. that last laugh, I actually think I got a real one out. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, your body doesn't know the difference, so it's all good. It's all good. So next, what we're going to do is we call this milkshake laughter. And I don't know how many out there love milkshakes. I know I do. I don't know. Do you have a favorite milkshake, uh, Helen? It's always chocolate. Everything's That's always right. chocolate. Me too. Yeah. You <laughs> can't go wrong with chocolate. <laughs> exactly. So I've got two glasses of milk in my hand. So we're going to pretend we have two glasses of milk and we're going to make a milkshake and we're going to drink it. So we're going to go, eh, eh. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. A, A. <laughs> and let's do it again. A, A. <laughs> ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Very good. Very good. Yay. And you can do any pose you want to celebrate yourself. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next exercise we're going to do is called the lawnmower. And I don't know, Helen, if you all have one or who does the lawn or if you have someone do it for you. But um, basically, sometimes you got to start the lawnmower. So you, 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 it usually has a pull cord. I, I don't mow the lawn myself anymore. But... <laughs> And if you have a ride on, I have a feeling you just start it with a key. We're going but for the pull cord, right? We're going for the pull cord. So we're going to grab this pull cord and we're going to go, run, na, 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 right? And we're going to go, run, na, 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 na. and then we're going to pull it on. We go, <laughs> and we're going to mow the lawn. <laughs> 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 very good very good yay oh, okay so i like to uh go to the beach um i don't know yeah. who doesn't like to go to the beach but um sometimes in the summer when it's really really hot you know it's hard to to walk on the beach so you'd have to like you know pick up your feet if it were hot so we're gonna just do hot sand laughter we're just gonna go <laughs> hot sand very good. Very good. Yay. And I want everyone to know they have actually, they say that this is an aerobic workout. So if you're feeling like you're out of breath a little bit, take a moment, take a breath and push it back out. So another thing that we do in laughter and yoga, and I do this sometimes with couples and I, I call it, how was your day dear? And what it basically is, is um, part of the laughter yoga practice is a thing called gibberish. And basically what it is, is, is expressing yourself without really saying the words. So sometimes, you know, at the end of the day, you've had a rough day and, you know, maybe your partner or 
someone else in the house, you know, they had a worse day and, and you're, and you're talking to each other and nobody's hearing each other. And maybe at home right now with, if you've got kids and, and it's, there's a lot going on, everybody's talking and no one's really hearing each other. Everybody's tired. So sometimes what is helpful is to actually talk gibberish and express how you're feeling. And then the other, what we do in practice, and then the other person sort of, sort of gets a sense of what you're saying. They don't probably understand what you're saying. And then they're able to actually provide comfort sort of uh, intuitively uh, and without words. So Helen, do you wanna maybe try this with me? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to tell Helen how I'm doing, but I'm going to do it in gibberish. And she's gonna listen and then see, you know, sort of she can figure out how I'm feeling. And sometimes people might, um, you know, sort of pantomime a pat on the back or a air hug or, you know, just some sort of look that might be understanding of how they're feeling. So I'm going to tell Helen how my day is going so far. Okay. Let's see. My interpretation of that is it's been very, very busy and it's been nonstop. You've been on the phone, you've been pulled in a lot of directions, and, um, you know, it's been a lot. That's my interpretation. Yeah. So, thank you for hearing me. So, she heard me without the words that sometimes can be misinterpreted, or, you know, it, it's just a real connecting point. And that's what this is about, is making connection. So do you wish to take a turn on this? Okay, let's see. Um, blah, 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 blah
some stress going in the side of my neck that's feeling a little bit better. I already noticed that. Wonderful. That's that's the beauty of this. That's the beauty of this. And and you can do it any time. Yeah. You can do it by yourself. You can do it, you know, any time. Just there's I, I remember when my kids were learning to drive and you know, I'm sitting in the passenger, I'm not a good passenger anyway. And I instead of going, Oh my gosh, do you see that? I would be like, <laughs> and then, you know. And that helped so much because then they were fine and then I was fine. <laughs> so I have to remember that around here these days. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's just better to go. <laughs> okay. Yes. You know, and then and you're not laughing at, you're just releasing in that moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this last one I'd love to do um is is sort of a connecting um, point. And I think at this point, it's so important for us to really continue to feel connected to each other because we are, even though you might be, you know, by yourself, we are here all together in this moment. And you don't have to shut your eyes, um, but if you wish to shut your eyes, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna laugh and it doesn't have to be real laugh. You can fake the laugh. And we're just gonna spend a couple minutes together in this moment Helen and I will hear each other and we're just going to laugh and you're going to hear us laughing and sometimes it'll ebb and flow, but it's a very cool way to, again, feel connected to one another without words. So you feel ready, Helen? Yeah. And everyone at home should be laughing, should be laughing too, laughing. right? Yes. I would love them to join. Yes, please. Cause you're going to listen to our laughter and see how it sort of feels for you. And, and if we make you laugh, it's sort of like, a, it's sort of another form of communication. I've been in these groups before where there will be someone that just makes me laugh because of their laugh. And then you get each other going and then Sometimes then it'll get quiet and then someone else will laugh. You know, those times where you've been in situations where it's not a good idea to laugh mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it, like school, I remember in school, you know, you're not supposed to laugh in class and then you start laughing because you're not supposed to laugh and then someone else starts to laugh. So it's, again, it's a, it's a nonverbal release and a nonverbal connection. So please, everybody, if you wish to join us, please do. We'd love it. And I'm going to shut my eyes as well. And Helen and I are going to start laughing and just laugh. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So And let's take a deep breath in and push it out. And let's do one more. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. And let's celebrate ourselves and you all. Very good. Very good. Yay. And we put our hands together and take a breath. And together, we are one. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Lisa. That's wonderful. <laughs> I have to say, it, it's definitely um, it's definitely a different practice, but it's definitely um, you feel it uh in your body differently than other types of um, mindfulness exercises that we do. So I can see why it's a thing <laughs> and why it, you know, and I, I'm sure, and I believe that the, you know, the research out there that that laughter creates a release, you know, as I said, for myself, I was actually feeling some stress in my, um, 
you know, back of my head area and it just the laughing a little bit and moving around a little bit definitely uh, gave me some help, you know, in that area. So thank you. And I celebrate everyone at home too. Um, you know, this is hard uh, what we're doing. Um, I should say it's different. So it, it's, you know, challenging for sure. Um, and now that, you know, we know we're going to be sitting together like this apart until at least April 30th and we don't know past that, you know, definitely um, really pushes us to try to find you in different ways to take care of ourselves, to stay connected. And I do encourage everyone to continue to find ways to, even if it's, you know, 15, 20 minutes a day, but, you know, try to find some time in your day once or twice. That's just, you know, for you, even if you can just you know, step outside and even if it's raining out and take a few deep breaths and, you know, have some, some moment, you know, to fill yourself back up because it's definitely different. And um, again, depending on what's happening in your house, if you're homeschooling, if you're working from home, if you're caring for somebody, um, or if you're just, you know, feeling the um, anxiety from all the images and information, you know, that's coming at us, um, but, um, you know, mind your mind, as I keep telling myself, you know, take in what you need and shut out what you need to shut out as well. I think that's the only way we're going to survive, um, you know, these times is, you know, really taking a time to become in tune with yourself and what you need. And that way you can help the others around us. So, Lisa, thank you so much. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what else we're going to do together next week. <laughs> Um, this week, what I can tell you we have coming is um, on Wednesday, which is tomorrow. I know we're all confused. But maybe we're not all confused. I'm confused what day of the week it is at most times. Um, but if you're like me. Um, so tomorrow, we'll be spending some time with Sandra Blackman, um, who is a um, contract employment specialist um, with our YWCA and is also part of the same project that Lisa is providing additional supports for the survivors of sexual violence in our program. Um, Sandra's work is specifically geared around um, vocational support, helping survivors um, deal with issues that they're having on the job, look for new jobs, um, and, you know, manage some of their, um, you know, trauma and stress um, that sometimes can get triggered when you're going through a job hunting process because there's some stress attached to that as well. Um, so what's wonderful about um, Sandra and her work with us is that um, because of what's happening right now, it's a wonderful opportunity for her to help all of us out there. I know I've received so many emails and calls and texts from people that have, um, you know, had a change in their job status or, um, you know, their small business suddenly, you know, obviously wasn't um, being as utilized and, you know, is trying to figure out what to do about that. And Although there's some, you know, one, there's some, you know, programs being put in place to help support people, um, it's also a great time to be thinking about, you know, how to get yourself out there, how to update um, your resume, how to be thinking about, you know, your LinkedIn profile, how to be thinking about, you know, getting yourself out there and marketing yourself. So Sandra, as well as um, Janelle Rosino. Rezin who is the president of Razino Associates, who's a recruiter, are going to be talking to us tomorrow about creating a digital presence during COVID-19 and a little bit about how to navigate a job market in the midst of all of this. Some people were looking for a job before this happened. Other people are looking for a job now that this has happened. Um, but, you know, how to navigate that. Um, people are doing job interviews right now on video. Um, there's uh, people still job hunting and, you know, ways to get yourself out there. So they're going to help us uh, talk through some of that. I'm very excited to talk with them. They're both, um, you know, wonderful talents in this field, and we're lucky to have them with us. On Thursday, get the kids ready. Um, we're going to have our kids and families cook together with Chef Rama. Um, if you're not familiar with Chef Rama, you definitely will be following her after we spend some time together on Thursday. Um, she does, you know, wonderful recipes and also make sure that you think about the um, little people that might be in your homes and how to integrate them in the process. And if I'm lucky, maybe some of my little people will join me to cook as well. Um, 
And on Friday, we're going to cl uh, close out the week on YWTV with a focus for our small business owners, Tia Jackson of Chief TJ Southern Gourmet in Englewood, which is, um, uh, you know, a business that has, you know, been a wonderful uh, new corner uh, cornerstone to our community in Englewood um, for those of you that live there. And, um, you know, talking about how she had to kind of pivot and keep the business going during this time and still be supportive of her community. Um, and so other small business owners can hear her story a little bit and how she's handling it and ask some questions. And we look forward to that time with you. And next week, you know, we're right now finalizing some, you know, more and wonderful opportunities to talk, you know, with other um, great people in our community. There's some wonderful things happening that we're going to be able to highlight for you, some great acts of kindness, um, more self-care because we know that that's what people need, more opportunities and um, to support our, you know, small business network and how people can you know, stay um, moving and growing and, um, you know, keeping things afloat during this time and also getting you information um, that we need just to, you know, manage through these days. So with all of that, Lisa, ho, ho. <laughs> very good. Yay. Yes. And everyone at home, very good. Very good. Yay. Yay. You guys have been doing a great job staying at home. Keep it up. Um, we're working hard to flatten the curve and also lift ourselves in the process. So i um, grateful to Lisa. Look forward to time with her and some of our other team members that are going to join us doing activities with us next week um, that are more of this nature. And um, friends, feel free to write comments. If you have ideas or things you want to see us do on YWTV, please share and um, reach out. We look forward to staying connected with you like this over the next month and, you know, however else longer we need to from there. So um, have a great day, everybody. And again, feel free to watch this link um, or tell a friend who you think might need a good laugh. They can always go. It'll be living on our Facebook page and on our Instagram um, also in the story section, the IGTV. So you can watch them later when um, it's a better time for you. So. Namaste. Be well. Be well, my friends. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.